going on everyone and welcome back to the channel guys today as you can tell in the video we have an f-150 that we installed a gen 5 whipple on now we just got through with it yesterday but it's a gen 5 whipple stage 2 kit with a 3.875 pulley and it does have the heat exchanger with the fans on it we went ahead and this is something you need to think about whenever you're doing a whipple install on an f-150 if you have the coyote this is closed in right here but you can go and order a ecoboost uh grill insert and if the other one pops out you pop this one right in and it gives you the opening like the ecoboost has to be able to get into that heat exchanger this is my first f-150 that i've installed a whipple on and uh i really like it it's interesting to see the changes they made uh in the whipple design for the f-150 after installing so many on the mustangs uh he did put a B. Woody uh, ice tank on, but he wanted it with the rest of the stuff that was in the system. So we put it in line with the uh, the rest of the system. So it has the, the, the Whipple Reservoir still down there also. Guys, we're going to be heading over to the dyno as soon as the customer gets here. So we'll see you over there. horsepower so we're gonna let daryl look at everything and we might make one more pull but uh even the dyno operator said that if this would have been in the one-to-one -one gear it would have been about 610 615 somewhere around that area maybe even 620 so not bad at all guys We're gonna go take it down the road. your average f-150 <laughs> single cab you might expect something like this but a crew cab with a camper oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. yeah i know <laughs> that was fun all right so as you see we put down 606 horsepower to the wheel uh that was in third gear due to the length of the drive shaft we don't feel comfortable with running high rates of speed on the dyno so we dyno them in third gear on the f-150s for that reason uh but nevertheless daryl from ring performance did a great job as always with the tuning and the customer had an absolute blast with it on the street as you can see in the video uh that truck is very unsuspecting uh crew cab camper top you're never going to expect that vehicle to have the power that it does so somebody pulls up next to him on the street he's going to surprise some people with that truck the last video we did put e85 on the mustang now i've had it in here going over some things periodically i bring the vehicle in and put it up in there check over everything make sure everything is good to go 
uh it never hurts especially when you're running these things at the drag strip periodically just bring them in check them out make sure everything's good to go uh we haven't had a chance to get to the drag strip the reason being is the drag strip hasn't been open well it was open but it was for a no prep beyond the 660 and until i get suspension and slicks and other things back there i'm not i don't feel comfortable running the car in uh no prep events but however this coming up sunday they will have the drag strip open and it will be prepped so we're going to go out there and see what we'll do on the drag strip uh and then i'm going to try to get it to a quarter mile before the season's over for you guys also but uh guys we have a 375 pulley on here and like i said we put it on e85 but we got a 375 pulley on here and that's what i've been running so once we get some time to the drag strip with this pulley combination i do have a crank support to go on it and a 3.5 pulley the 3.5 pulley is a whipple 3.5 pulley where my 3.75 is a grip tech but we're going to put it on we'll see what it does if i start noticing belt slip which i don't think i will but if i do we're going to go ahead and order a 3.5 grip tech pulley to have on the car and then uh we'll run it again so we're going to be having some fun with this car so stay tuned uh also check this out guys uh i haven't talked about this yet but if you remember my black car i had gt350 wheels on it so uh i was able to trade my performance pack 20 inch replicas for these wheels uh i love these wheels i will be changing out the center cap with the uh stock but uh and they're they're the rear ones but i've had those on there right now because i've been out doing some logging and stuff getting it ready to go to the drag strip so hopefully soon guys this sunday we will have it out of drag strip so next week you will get a video from this thing out of the drag strip and we will see how the e85 improved the car and then of course we will keep progressing the car as we go all right that's gonna be it for this video as always all the contact information for the shop is down in the description but if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.